Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna and for those of you who are new here, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. In today's video, I will be doing the second week of November 2020 in my skinny classic, Happy Nietzsche, Happy Bullet Journal, Happy Journal. And if that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. <music> So like I like to do, we're going to do this first uh, part as shout outs and then we'll jump right into the planning for next week. And actually that's not what we're doing. We've never actually really done that. We don't plan for the next week. We actually just decorate for the next week and I need to remember that. Uh, when I'm doing this intro in any of my videos, I just sort of put my mind on autopilot and I find that if I do that, then I don't stumble over words. It's when I start thinking, that's when I get in trouble. <laughs> and the shenanigans begin. All right, so in the shout outs, what I did last time was I used the back of the last page of the journaling spots. Well, for this time around, I'm actually doing it a little differently. And I'll move Bucky to the side there. And so this is the week that we are in right now. It is currently Friday the 13th. I will be journaling for today and Saturday and Sunday later on. But where I've put the thank yous for this week is right here. So um, in the past, what I would do is I'd ask you guys to name this and then I would um, have this long shout out listing uh, but for now I'm just going to be doing it this way and like I mentioned in last week's video I do like including you guys in the actual spread because this is going to be functional for me and when we get into the decorating part of it I'll show you how so thank you from the November 7th happy Nietzsche happy journal video thank you Lily the bun thank you Amber thank you Colleen from New Jersey Thank you, Blue Bonnet. Andy, happy birthday to you. If you guys can, go ahead and check out her page. She is uploading new videos as she is um, doing a Stardew Valley journey. And she has tons of tips. As I've just started that game myself, seriously, guys, tons of tips. Go ahead and check her out. Uh, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, my dear. I hope you have a, a fun, relaxing weekend with family, food, and farming. Ah, yeah, I did all the Fs. <laughs> thank you, Angela I. Thank you, Iris N. Thank you, Miss D from Budgeting D. Thank you, Miss Tanya K. That's Tanya with an A. Thank you, Miss Luann. Thank you, Miss Annette. Kathleen and TJ, thank you so much as always. Again, TJ, Bucky says hello and big mwah, smooches for you. Thank you, Miss Tiffany. And thank you, Miss Louise, Louis, Lois. <laughs> so sorry I don't I don't know exactly how it's pronounced but thank you thank you thank you for always leaving such amazing comments all right guys guess what time it is guess what time it is it is Nietzsche Saturday where I join Jasmine and Miranda here on YouTube where every Saturday we work in our skinny classic happy Nietzsche Fopa Nietzsche happy journal it's just, it's having one of those long name titles like Khaleesi, Mother of Dragons, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's turning into one of those things. <laughs> but that's what we're going to be working on today. As I mentioned, uh, I am going to be using this functionally. So I'm going to take this page out. All of this is just storage. Just knocked Bucky down, so he's going to go back on his perch. And then, like we did last week, I'm going to just take a paper from here. Ooh, I have some colored paper. Yeah, because I was supposed to be doing this whole Harry Potter thing, and then uh, clearly didn't, because <laughs> we're on book four. And this is, what, chapter one of book one? Yep. But do I, do I want that? I mean, I kind of want that. Oh, look at that one. Yeah, I literally did not open this book before 
no, we're gonna we're gonna save that because we're gonna use our Tombows, but we will take <laughs> a piece of paper. Um, I'm just laughing because that was such a squirrel moment. Like, ooh, color paper. What's that? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put this away for now. Now I have to tell you guys, I woke up with such a sore knee. I'm not sure how a person while she's sleeping can manage to mess up her knee because I, I went to bed with my knee feeling fine. I woke up with my knee feeling horrible. If I stand too long, it is shooting pains. If I sit too long, it is shooting pains. So I mean, I'm not sure what kind of overachiever I am, that that's a thing, but that is absolutely a thing. So, well, I mean, it is Friday the 13th. I'm not sure who I thought I was. So, <laughs> okay, just realized, just realized. Okay, so, and like last time, we are gonna do the color wash. The color wash, even though it does look horrible in the beginning, it does seem to turn out okay. We're gonna use the back of this, which was the shout outs from this week as our weekly overview calendar type thing. Now, in the past, I was using just a strip of paper uh, as an offshoot cut that I had done before, but I think I'm going to actually use some stickers this time, and this was gifted to me by my lovely friend, Miss D, and I mentioned her. She was in the shout outs, but I'll go ahead and link her below, and I don't know if this has any long boxes. Maybe we can find a whole bunch of coordinating squares like this. So that's two. I do need seven. <laughs> I didn't look beforehand. Because, I mean, honestly, who does that? Oh, well, that's four. And I think the colors still work, even though the florals are a little different. All right, so... Let's put some of these down. And we'll go for more of these empty ones first. Just to get as much writing space. I did actually start looking at my horoscope. I've got an app on my phone and doing my daily horoscope just because I, I think it's interesting. However, what's a little... I don't want to say it's annoying. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but I am a Lear, Leo Cancer cusp. So I've got all of the amazing and horrible traits of both of those signs. <laughs> and it's really hard, if not impossible, at least I haven't been able to find it, to find um, horoscopes for people on the cusps. Now, I've always identified as a Leo. But the older that I get, I realize that I do have quite a bit of traits of a Cancer. So yeah, I just, I would have liked to have been able to find something that gives me a daily as a cusp versus having to read both of them. Because if I'm only, if I'm going to just read one horoscope, it's going to be the Leo. Because again, that's what I identify with more. Yeah, I know, that just seems super random. <laughs> Sorry. That's kind of how it is around here. I just talk about, you know, whatever. <laughs> and so in here, I think why I was telling you about the horoscope thing, oh, maybe I should script my videos because then at least I'd have an idea of what I'm going to say. Um, but what I've been tracking is my breakfast and my lunch and my horoscope in here. Oh, the flowers are different. No, I don't think the colors are, well, and okay. I don't think the colors are complementary enough, although I think they'll fit the pink, but these are actually the flowers I want to use for this <laughs> week. Uh, only there was a place I could write reminders to myself to do things. 
Oh well, that seems like a magical place that doesn't exist. That's cool. And I need six of them here. Although honestly, by rights, I, I never really film the meals that I have on the weekend. Usually it's because I'm not eating here in my room. And sometimes it's just I forget. But I think it'd look actually nice if I, I keep them separate. And I'm trying to stagger the staggering and obviously that's not working really well. But I mean, once the writing's on the page, I, I think it'll be fine. Six, so we just need one more and I'll just bring a little bit of the green here. And that seems actually really small. So let's look for another square. Oh, that yellow is nice, but it's all up in your face. <laughs> I don't know why I hesitated. That's what we do around here. Okay, so this comes to the side and up. And then I'm going to move this down here. And really this is just to label what the week is. Well, that seems dumb. Anyway. <laughs> oh. I think I'm losing it, guys. I think I'm losing it. All right, so this is done. Oh, that's kind of nice on the pink. And then for this, uh, we're just going to do some really easy decorating. Again, I'm going to put the pen down after I put the stickers down because I don't think the stickers will go down as nicely. And I'm not going to wait for it to dry because I just I want to keep going so I can put my leg up. I think that's why I was telling you about my knee. I'm pretty sure. If not, I'll edit this out. <laughs> Oh, that was like minutes ago. I can't be expected to remember stuff way back when. Then. <laughs> Maybe we'll go with this. I mean, it doesn't actually really fit the rest of the month, but it certainly fits that page. And it's, it's, it's not very folly, but I live in Hawaii, so I mean, it's not like that's a thing anyway. All right, I like this, love this journey. And just like last week, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some light decorating on the page. I'm going to put down Monday and then just sort of free form it from there. Uh, unlike last week, however, this is all going to be usable space. Well, as much use as I leave based on stickers that I put down. But last week, this was where I put the, the weekly. Okay. This is nice. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you right now, you can always count on a good time or a hot mess when you hear that noise because that means I've just come up with an idea. Now, because I don't pre-plan anything, it could be an absolute <laughs> train wreck. Uh, yeah, but... Oh, I'm lazy. I don't, I don't want to cut. Okay, so 
that works kind of yeah that works and oh no I, th I think it's I think it's doable I think it's look we kind of we kind of did a thing <laughs> it would have been better had our thing been a little less of a thing <laughs> had I measured but if that had happened you would have thought I was kidnapped or something I know guys I know <laughs> that looks horrible that looks cute so maybe we'll just leave it like that well that looks cuter uh, I don't know that it looks super cute well we do have eight million rolls of washi now I don't know why I'm thinking that by adding another straight line this will be less distracting I mean, if anything, it's more emphasized. I know, I kind of like it though. It just, it looks less dumb. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I don't know how to describe that better, but it just, it does look, it looks, it doesn't look intentional. I think I could have chosen better colors but it actually is a really pretty kind of dusty rose which I like <laughs> it just seems so random <laughs> I like it <laughs> now we're gonna put a big old girl up here I'd rather cut at the top where I'm lazy is having to punch it because that just annoys me. I don't know where the little bit went through. And I think that's all we're gonna do for here. Again, just like in previous weeks, I don't know how much I'm going to be writing. So that could just be writing, maybe more writing here, and then a thank yous here, a thank you on a page like this. And that will just see, it'll, it'll depend really on the kind of week that I have. That actually looks really pretty. I wonder if a flower will stick. Because I'm actually kind of tempted to move this, but... So that I can put another line there, but that's just being too fussy. I mean, really, this is a journal. I need this for writing. And I also kind of want to leave it white. I was just going on about how I liked how it looked with the things and the whatnots. Let me put the dates down and, and think about this a little bit more. All right, guys. So uh, on this side, I put down uh, day headers and stickers that I had gotten as freebies from Lux Clever Crafts. I did order these, and then they had sent me a sheet of different colored ones. I used the purple ones, and then they had sent me these date dots, and so I just used those as well. I mean, it's super colorful already. Why not? And then I used one of these that they also had sent me and put November. I don't always do that, but I had it, and I thought, eh, why not? And then this is going to be for the 16th through the 22nd. I can't believe it's two weeks away from Thanksgiving. I mean, what? And then for this, as I've been using, I'll be using the day headers that I ordered from Christy Marie Designs. I'll link both of their shops below. This one I did order, the one with the white matte sticker backing. The one that I've been using for the last couple of weeks is the one that she had sent me for free, which is on a transparent backing. And honestly, I'm going to just, I'm going to color the page because it will be consistent with the rest. I do like how it looks once I've got writing all over it. And I think I will just concentrate on just maybe one color, just to add a color wash. 
and I'm just going to go down the page. And mostly the reason I didn't use the one that I was uh, fussing over when I got this page is I wasn't sure if those colors would match because they definitely are a little bit more muddier. I wanted it to look like it was tea stained. Um, so that's mainly the reason I didn't use that page. I'm really happy that I got these Tombows. I actually want to uh, get some more, but maybe I'll put that on my Christmas list to my family. Or I'll just ask for Amazon gift cards and then they can just, I can get my own. <laughs> but yeah, I love how it just, I, I love the, the cooler or the, it's not even pastels. It's definitely more neutral, but I love that it just gives a, a slight wash to it. And then depending on the pen that I choose either for the whole week or for the day, um, I, I love it just, it recedes even further in the back. I don't know, that just, it does it for me. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna set myself up for Monday. And then again, for the rest of the week, I will just figure out as I go along. I've got this sheet right here. Monday is the 16th. I don't have that. So I'll go to this page. And this way, when I come in here on Monday after work, because I will be in the office, then it's just ready for me. And then I will do like I've done, and let me put this back on the desks and I'll show you what I mean by that weird sentence. All right, so what I started to talk about was, um, later on either this weekend or Monday night when I'm here journaling anyway, I'll go ahead and put the gold in and what I'm doing is putting a gold dot for the meals and then putting a star for my horoscope. Yeah, I know, super clever. And I will actually put that in that box there with the exception of Saturday. Uh, that should be more than enough space, actually even more space than I've been having um, in previous weeks. Now this is actually very plain. So for this week, um, really the writing on the page is going to take up um, and be most of the decorative aspect. I love decorating. I do. I love using my products. I love using stickers. It, it's actually even interesting to me that I thought I would have more of a cohesive month like I did here where I made specifically or I was very sure to use very similar items. But as I'm going along here, um, it, it hasn't actually turned out that way. The only similarity from week to week, it seems, is the color wash. But the colors, the stickers, even the products being used, well, no, and there's consistency in what I'm using to label. But I just, I don't think it, it doesn't, I don't think it clashes. I'm, I'm really stumbling over my words today. <laughs> um, but it's just, it's not as cohesive as before, but it's certainly more cohesive than some of my other um, previous spreads in here where every week was just an opportunity to use new things. Well, it's sort of like that, but I guess, I don't know. I don't see that it's too dissimilar, although I know that I'm not using the same products from week to week. I'd love to know what you guys think uh, of it below. I, I think it's a combination that it's after work and actually it was a really productive day. Plus my knee is killing me that I'm just, I'm trying to rush through this, but enjoy the process <laughs> at the same time. Yeah, apparently that's just not doable. Anyway, guys, from Bucky and I, thank you so much for following me on this journey. For the question for this week, as Thanksgiving is coming up, if you are here in the United States, what is your favorite Thanksgiving menu item? Or if you don't celebrate uh, Thanksgiving because you um, are not us or you just don't celebrate it then what is a favorite menu item for you bucky and i would love to know in the comments below all right guys that's it for me for now and as always aloha mm -hmm.